Hello students. So today we will solve uh, quiz two problems. So quiz two. Okay. So start with uh, the first problem where we we had a mass here and uh, and then there was a damper and there was given the rest was a, a spring right so k over 2 here k over 2 here there was c and there was a base yeah and uh, question says that the base excitation is given in terms of y and then output is uh, the the uh, displacement of mass right? so for that uh, first you have to what you have to do is write the differential equation and uh, in the vibrations section we already worked out this kind of problem and uh, uh, we can uh, have in this case for example we can assume that that x is more than y okay so that there is a stretching right so what you get you get uh, here the force will be k over 2 times uh, since this is tension we are assuming x is uh, more than y so it is in tension so force will be downward and how much the force force will be x minus y yeah okay and uh, this will be similarly the, this is going to be c x dot minus y dot and here it will be again k2 x minus y and this is mass yeah going that way so acceleration uh, we are going to sum these forces and what you get we get uh, c x dot minus y dot plus both we add so becomes k x minus y equal to m and then x double dot right so this is x right so okay and hence the equation becomes m uh, sorry we have to also have minus because this is in negative direction so it should be minus here okay it should be minus here like this so the final equation becomes mx uh, double dot plus cx dot plus kx uh, equal to uh, cy dot plus ky, right? Okay, so th this is the equation, okay? So this is the governing equation. We are taking the Laplace transform of that and, uh, and what we get? We get ms square plus cs plus k x s equal to uh, here we will get uh, c s plus k y s yeah and hence the output is x s over y s okay x s over y s we get c s plus k divided by m s square plus c s plus k okay the question was if this is equal to k then what is the value of this yeah so answer was so it was uh, given in terms of equal to a s square plus b s plus d probably and then you have f g s h like this right so if h equal to k right then we get b equal to c answer right so this was answer number two question is about the lrc circuit so we have uh, l then we have r and then we have c here like this yeah and uh, zeta equal to what does the question okay say the value of l r and c is given you have to find right? so this is e i this is e o so in order to find out first we have to find out what is the differential equation and uh, in s domain we can write so this becomes e i s output becomes e o s this becomes l times s this is r only and this becomes 1 over c s right so and uh, accordingly we can find out so our uh, 
E O S over E I S will be equal to uh, impedance of these divided by uh, uh, you add all of them. So 1 over C S divided by L S plus R plus 1 over C S and uh, then finally what do we get? 1 over we get uh, L C S squared plus R C S plus 1 right? that's what we get or equal to 1 over L C divided by okay so L C we are dividing uh, up and down both so S square plus so L C so we get uh, R over L S over then 1 over L C right so you compare with the form of uh, this will be uh, whatever it, uh, here it is uh, this will be of the form zeta I'm sorry s square s square plus 2 zeta omega n plus omega n square I am writing omega n here because both are same that's why I can write it otherwise if both are not same then we whatever it is there we put it there but this will be as per this form so from here what do we get we get omega n s square equal to 1 over lc that tells us omega n equal to root 1 over lc and uh, this tells us uh, 2 zeta omega n is equal to r over l and this tells us uh, zeta equal to r over l r over l and then divided by 2 omega n right and this tells us uh, zeta equal to r over l uh, 1 over 2 uh, 1 over omega n right over 1 over uh, so th this is this is omega n so 1 over omega n uh, becomes root l c basically right and we work it out and what do we get we get half then r half r and uh, this is going to make c over l root c over l this is the answer half r root c over l will be the zeta okay? so this is the zeta answer the next question is uh, number three is uh, where you have resistance here and there is a capacitor okay and then another resistance another capacitor like this and then you have output here so values are both are same both C are same okay so this is EI this is E out and question is the what is zeta equal to okay now this uh, again the um, uh, please uh, make one correction here so in the uh, lecture video uh, we just wrote in this case it will be simply the tangent function of this multiplied by tangent function of this one this and this that is not correct this is because the current here will not be uh, same basically it, it will be once you uh, for example before this let's say yeah, it has i1 if you add this one then this will not be i1 it is going to change you know so this current since it is uh, it changes because of that you cannot write that way then in that case you will have to derive again okay so so let, so let us say this um, here this uh, uh, this one has uh, to this branch this uh, goes one i1 i1 s and in this uh, and this one is i2 s okay so here total will be i1 uh, s plus i2 s so i am writing in s domain so this uh, total current will be like that because of that since the current here once you add this one here it will have the current here and here will differ because of that 
we can we could not just write we can, cannot write like something like this 1 over cs then r plus 1 over cs multiplied this will be transfer for this one for this one one same thing so a square so we cannot write like that so this will be wrong because the current in the both the situation current will be different for example in this r we have i1 plus i2 but in this r we have just i2 here we have i1 here it will be i2 yeah so so because of that because of differences we cannot write that way okay so we will have to derive and uh, driving simple actually so uh, once we have the current distribution we can uh, write in s domain uh, r times uh, i1 plus i2 right uh, plus 1 over cs i1 will be equal to eis right so this this we get the first one okay so we apply kirchhoff's uh, law basically here the summing them together making equal to this and here uh, also we can have uh, uh, r r times i2 right and then uh, we have uh, plus 1 over cs times i2 and then here will be minus current is going this way so it will be minus minus 1 over cs i1 be equal to 0 so we have second equation third equation uh, you can find out e naught this right so, so we have c 1 over cs uh, i2 is equal to e o right and hence uh, transfer function e naught s over e i s be, uh, simply becomes 1 over cs i2 divided by this one r i1 plus i2 plus 1 over cs i1 yeah so simply uh, what do we get we get 1 over uh, r uh, not 1 i2 we can say i2 okay i2 over uh, r cs i1 plus i2 plus here we get i2 simply i2 now uh, we get that okay from here what do we get from here uh, we can say that i2 is uh, i1 equal to i1 is equal to cs we multiply here r c s plus 1 i2 right cs we multiply multiply here so r cs plus it becomes 1 both i2 so we have i2 this right so this we can uh, uh, put it here and to see what it is and uh, what do we get we get equal to uh, here will be i2 and then rcs rcs multiplied by i1 uh, i1 is this now so i1 is this so we write here rcs plus 1 yeah uh, multiplied by i2 then we have i2 again i2 then plus plus you have i2 again uh, here you have uh, i2 right okay uh, uh, sorry here it is i1 so this is not i2 this should be i1 so we, we write it here also this, this becomes rcs plus 1 i2 Hence, uh, our, here also I2, here also I2, we can cancel it out. What we get is 1 over, and here RCS plus 1, I2, plus I2 this, this becomes R RCS plus 2, I2, right? So, I2, I2 cancels out. So, what we get RCS, RCS plus 2, and then we have RCS plus 1 okay and uh, what do we get over r square c square r square c square s square plus two here and one here three so three r c s and uh, plus one yeah okay so this is what we get so th this becomes uh, one over r square c square divided by s square plus two zeta omega n so So, okay. 
एस स्क्वायर वी एट वी गेट थ्री ओवर टू थ्री ओवर टू एंड देन वी गेट वन ओवर आर सी राइट ओके एंड प्लस वन ओवर आर स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर ओके सो वाट वी सी हियर विच विल बी ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई एस स्क्वायर प्लस टू जेटा ओमेगा एन एस प्लस ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर राइट एंड दैट टेल्स एस दैट ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर विल बी वन ओवर आर स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर एंड हेन्स ओमेगा एन इक्वल टू वन ओवर आर सी एंड फ्रॉम हियर दैट रियली मीन्स द दिस थ्री ओवर टू वन ओवर आर सी इज टू जेटा ओमेगा एन राइट एंड बट वन ओवर आर सी इज ओमेगा एन ओनली सो दैट्स मीन थ्री ओवर टू Sorry guys, here it should not be two uh, divided by R square C square only, so two will not be there. Okay, so this is this is wrong. So this will be three only. Okay, so three one over R C S. Here it will be S like that. Okay, so we have like this one. We have three uh, multiplied by one over R C equal to this. So that really means three uh, multiplied by Uh, omega n equal to two zeta omega n. Hence, you get zeta equal to simply three over two equal to one point five. So answer will be one point five in this case. Now the next question is uh, number four, and uh, here uh, what is given is we have k divided by s. J S plus B. Okay, and uh, this is unit feedback loop. It has. It goes like this. Yeah. Uh, this is minus. This is plus. This is R uh, R S, and this is C S. Okay. So in S domain, in tan domain is R T. Okay, and we have C T here. Right. So okay. So If uh, if this is what it is, and where k is given, uh, j is given, b is given, and the find out the when if r t equal to t, then what is the steady state error equal to r? That's what the question is. Okay, so for steady state error is nothing. We have this is what the e is, right? So this is the difference between r and c s, right? So e s equal to r s minus c s. Yeah, and uh, what is CS? So RS minus CS is nothing but we have ES, ES multiplied by ES multiplied by this, right? So KS, JS plus B. That's what that is. So we get one plus K over S JS plus B ES, right? Is equal to RS. Yeah, that's what we get, and or simply we get uh, ES ES equal to ES equal to we get R S multiplied by we have S uh, J S plus B and divided by we have S J S plus B plus K. Yeah, so this is what it is. Error. Now we have to find out the The, for this one, what is so when R T equal to T, that means R S will be one over S square. So, so then steady state. Uh, then that really means this becomes equal to R S. We put one over S square. So one over S square, and then we have the S J S plus B divided by S J S plus B plus K. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, here one s and one s will cancel out, but uh, uh, we can in the meantime can write steady state error e s s equal to limit s ten to zero and s e s. So we apply the final value final value theorem, and uh, then what do we get? Limit s ten to zero, and we have here s square. 
right? So we have s square over s square, so we will cancel out. And then we have js plus b uh, divided by s, right? s, js plus b plus k, right? So ss cancels out and uh, yeah, so they, this cancels out. So what we get, s equal to zero here, s equal to zero here, we get simply b over k. And this is the answer. So whatever the value is, you put that, you get the answer. Next question, it says that there is a flywheel here. Okay, so without any uh, friction and input is the uh, torque, the output is displacement. So it has to be JS square. Yeah, so this is output, CS, and there, there is a feedback transfer function which is given to be a constant, so given H, so this is uh, GS, okay, it will be equal to this, and this is HS equal to this, yeah, okay, and then we have the, so minus plus, like this one, so, you have to find out the natural frequency omega n equal to what? That was the question, right? So we can find out from here the, the uh, this is uh, R, RC. So transfer function Cs over R uh, S, which is the, the uh, closed loop transfer function. Uh, we know that this, this will be equal to uh, Gs divided by 1 plus Gs multiplied by Hs. And here GS is so 1 over JS square divided by 1 plus 1 over JS square multiplied by HS is just H a constant, right? So, so we get 1 over uh, JS square plus H, right? That's what we get. And uh, is equal to 1 over J, we can write either S square uh, plus H over J, which is, which is of the form of whatever the value here, but here it would be s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n s square. What you see here is that this term is not there, so you know that zeta equal to 0, yeah, and uh, omega n will be equal to omega n square will be h over j, and this tells us that omega n equal to root h over j. So this is the answer. Next question is similar to the previous one, so number six. And uh, uh, what is the question? Uh, question is in this case now, transfer function, uh, the, the output is angular velocity, and input is is a torque. So that really means that this becomes one over j s. Yeah, so this is g s. It will be okay. So this is the output, and uh, again, the feedback transfer function is just h. Right, so this is H S and uh, yeah, minus this is plus and uh, we have to find out the C S here, R S here. Uh, so in this case, similar to earlier, uh, to transfer function will be C S over R S. The we have to find out the time constant. Okay, time constant equal to what? Okay. So C S over R S, we know that it will be G S divided by 1 over G S multiplied by H S and we have 1 over G S, 1 plus 1 over G S multiplied by H and hence we get 1 over uh, G S plus H, right? okay? And uh, we, we divide by H, so we get 1 over H and we, we have j over h s plus 1, which is of this form. So whatever that value is, but here, tau s plus 1, then this is the time constant, we know that, right? So that really means the tau will be equal to j over h. So this is the answer. This is the time constant. This is the first process system. Next question is, uh, we have g1, Okay, G2S, okay, and we are adding them plus and plus, and we have CS like this. <coughs> plus minus 
then we have d3s d4s so we have plus but here we have minus okay and then it goes like this yeah so <clears throat> this is what that is and then we have to find a transfer function there are some question on the transfer function itself so gs is given to be a let's say a over s square this is given to be b over s this is uh, d times a and this is equal to say e okay a constant e okay now the we have to find out the the transfer function for this one so we, uh, we can simplify so together this becomes uh, like this so this becomes one a over s square plus b over s simply right and then uh, and here we becomes ds minus e right so that it goes like here like this minus plus and this is the what the equivalent of that okay so this will be what this one is right okay so next is uh, find out the so that this becomes a uh, gs uh, this becomes hs basically feedback right so the transfer function ts will be simply equal to uh, gs a over s square plus b over s one plus this gs again so a over s square plus b over s and multiplied by this ds minus e that's what that is right and uh, then what do you get you get uh, s square will get here yeah so uh, you, you will have a plus uh, bs okay uh, divided by we have here s square plus okay so here here we will get uh, uh, a plus b s okay and multiplied by d s minus e that's what that is yeah the what is question question is uh, if uh, this is equal to given a s square plus b s yeah then then d right then f s square g s plus h so given if d equal to 1 given if d equal to 1 then h equal to 1 that's what the question asks for that we, we can simplify the a is for further okay so this one becomes uh, for us if d equal to 1 we can have uh, divide by if d is equal to 1 the a and d right so we can divide both the sides by a so we get uh, bs plus 1 divided by a we get so we get 1 over a plus and here we can also have 1 over a right so we get 1 plus b over a s that's what we get right minus c so we have to uh, question is if d is equal to 1 what is h so h is a constant term uh, means it's not a coefficient of s or s square so look at here so what is the constant term in this case yeah so uh, here this is s square sorry this is s square over a so constant terms is uh, from here will be this or from here it will be minus e right so h will be equal to minus e right so minus e will be the answer next question is related to this one only yeah so now it's about the open loop transfer function so earlier was closed loop now it is talking about the open loop transfer function so the open loop transfer function will be simply equal to the g times h right so this is a t o s equal to right the g s times h s and uh, what we have here is this multiplied by this or simply right so a over s square plus b over s multiplied by d minus e uh, ds minus e uh, which is equal to a 
plus ds multiplied by ds minus e right divided by s a square that's what you get now this is this is given to be a uh, s square plus b s plus d uh, divided by f s square g s over h and the, uh, given if f equal to 1 the right? question is if if uh, f equal to 1 uh, b equal to 1 that the question is right so then we can expand it and uh, uh, the question is b equal to what Okay, so what is the coefficient of uh, s? That's what asking when f equal to 1. So in any way, f equal to 1, any way, it is already there. So you just have to see what is the coefficient of s. So we can see here, uh, d first multiplied by this one. So, so answer will be simply a multiplied by d, a d, and then b multiplied by e, so minus b e. So this will be the answer. So this is what the B will be. Yeah. Next question is uh, related to the same diagram, but uh, now it is asking you, uh, instead of the open loop transfer function, it is talking about the feed forward transfer function. Okay. So feed forward transfer function, feed forward transfer function. Okay. So let's call it TF will be simply equal to equal to gs only equal to gs in this case right just a feed forward transfer function is just this one so gs is uh, what is that a over s square plus b over s and this is equal to a a plus b s over s square right or you can write and this is equal to the question has is equal to a uh, s square plus b s plus d and then f s square g s h question again is said if if f equal to 1 b equal to 1 this is tells so f equal to 1 already 1 and it says b equal to 1 means coefficient of s is equal to 1 coefficient of s is b right so the b, so b will be equal to b1 the capital b so this is what the answer will be next question again it is related to this uh, only however the question is asking you the value of uh, regarding the value of es so this is es es will be uh, rs minus cs so this is es here so es over rs equal to what yeah so so this is uh, this is regarding this one so so we know that in this case, uh, if GS, this is HS, we know that uh, ES is nothing equal to uh, RS minus CS and uh, R and CS is nothing but ES, multi, uh, ES multiplied by GS. So this is GS here, right? So RS minus ES multiplied by GS is equal to CS, right? So, so what we get is 1 plus GS. 1 plus gs multiplied by es is equal to rs and hence uh, es over rs is nothing but 1 over gs so this is what it is okay now the um, we have to work out more so uh, one so what we get is uh, 1 over and gs is this so gs is uh, one a over s square plus b over s right and uh, then what do you get uh, you will get the s square multiply by s square over a plus a plus b s right okay so this is what uh, this is going to be uh, however, we made a mistake here. So there has to be 1 plus gs. That gs is this. So we get a 1 plus here. right? So it has to be 1 plus here. And hence, uh, we has to we have s square here. So plus s square. Yeah? Okay. So now, now it is correct. So the question is given that uh, if d is equal to, 
if d equal to 1 and then uh, then it is asking about what, what will be f equal to what not f but h h so h equal to what is h equal to it? so this is given by uh, a s square plus b s plus d and then f s square g s then h so what we see here d equal to 1 it says d equal to 1 but if you compare here we have s square so we have a term b 0 d equal to 0 so we have here d equal to 0 but the question uh, says d equal to 1 so hence there is a uh, discrepancy here so hence the the question was wrong basically so hence i gave you all the full marks for this one okay so the question should have been differently so it should have been something like if a equal to one then you find out but by mistake i wrote d so hence it was uh, it had a problem okay but you next time if you get a similar question then you know what to do okay so you have the expression the next question is about opam so there is open circuit here so like this one you have minus plus and uh, here you have r1 okay and then you have a c here and there is a resistance as well in parallel okay so it goes like this so this is c and this is r2 okay so this is the output and then we have this Uh, okay, the question is that if it is uh, input is uh, E I T equal to a some value, let's say E naught, okay, which is applied at the T equal to zero, yeah, for uh, T equal to zero, yeah. So then uh, steady state output E O T as T tends to infinity equal to one, that's the final value of E naught T, that is steady state value of, of the output it's asking you. So you can find out through the, um, you know that the, the transfer function of this one is, right, Ts, which is equal to uh, E naught S divided by, so here, if it is confusing, let's call it Ei, okay, so Ei. So, so E naught, uh, E naught S divided by, uh, divided by E I S okay so I think uh, here let's keep it E only okay so so that uh, this is the value you, you are giving the input yeah so like okay so but if, if, if that is the case then then uh, what happens thus E naught over E I will be equal to simply uh, minus because this is it will invert it yeah so and then you are going to have this divided by this so z of this okay so z of this will be uh, since they are parallel so we have to write accordingly 1 over cs multiplied by r2 divided by 1 over cs plus r2 so this will be since they are uh, in parallel right so this divided by r1 yeah and minus will be here yeah. okay so so finally, uh, what do we get? So we get minus the R2 divided by uh, 1 plus R2 Cs divided by R1. Yeah. Okay. So that, that okay, so that will be equal to simply minus, yeah, minus R2 divided by and we have R1 here, 1 plus R2 C S yeah. minus R2 divided by, uh, we can expand it. And we, uh, so we have R1 R2 C S plus R1. Okay, so we get a transfer function. Next is uh, E i equal to. Uh, this one right so hence uh, e i s uh, will be equal to the, this is a step input right so it will be simply e over s right okay so uh, so uh, from here 
E out, E out S will be equal to E I S multiplied by minus uh, R2 over R1, R2 C S plus R1. Okay, and where E I S is equal to simply E over S multiplied by this. So, yeah, so we have E over S here, E over S, right? Okay, and now uh, final value. Right, E O T steady state or T tends to infinity is nothing but S E naught S limit S tend to zero. So you multiply S here and then so multiply S here, S is cancel, cancels out. So we have E minus we get simply limit S tend to zero, tend to zero minus E I two divided by. R1, R2, Cs plus R1. Yeah, so, so if a limit S tend to 0, uh, what do we get? We get minus R2 over R1 multiplied by E. Okay, so, so whatever the value you get here, you multiplied by minus R2 over R1, and this is the answer. Next question is also related to the open the circuit only, and uh, here we have a series of op amp circuits so we have minus plus uh, this is r1 and this is c2 right okay this is c2 then uh, we have r2 okay and this one is minus plus okay so this is how it is okay and here also we have this is r3 this is r4 okay r1 c2 r3 r4 okay so the in this question the this is ei ei and this is e out right okay and the question is that the eit so at t equal to zero we are giving an impulse impulse yeah okay you are giving impulse in volt second and the, let's say impulse uh, impulse is e okay let's call it impulse equal to e right okay in uh, volts second okay so uh, so th this is given so this is uh, uh, at t equal to zero uh, we have e i equal to e in volts meter uh, volt second. So with, uh, then it is the, what is the output it says. Okay, so what is the uh, final output? So let's see here. So we have a transfer function first we have to find out. So Ts is equal to Eo S over Eis which is equal to transfer function of both of them uh, will be multiplied. So 1 over C2S divided by uh, R1 multiplied by this is minus minus both of this plus so i'm not writing that into r4 into r3 yeah so what do we get we get r4 over r1 r3 c2s that's what we get okay now now it says uh, uh this is what that is so e naught s will be eis multiplied by R4, R1, R2, C2S. Yeah, but uh, if you take uh, this one, the Laplace transform of this, so EI, so this is EI T is nothing but E delta T, right? It's a data direct function. And hence, ES is nothing but equal to E only, right? So, so ES equal to one. Uh, sorry, E i s equal to 1, C i equal to 1 only. So that is equal to R4 divided by R1, R2, C2, S only, right? Okay, now we have to make E naught S at uh, limit S tend to, uh, uh, sorry, we have to get final value, right? So E out T, Okay, limit 
t tends to infinity which will be equal to limit s tend to 0 s e naught s so we have s multiplied by s so what we get simply is r4 divided by r1 r2 c2 and this is the answer little correction uh, need to uh, say e i s is e remember so we have to multiply e here okay so accordingly we have e now uh, we have r3 and uh, i'm writing here r2 so r3 it will be r3 okay so r4 r1 r3 yes, r4 multiplied by e divided by r1 r3 c2 so this is the correct answer in next three questions so number 13 to 15 so the transfer function is given yeah so transfer function is given as this Uh, 1 over uh, sorry this is a over and then b times s plus d a square into f a square it is something like this okay and uh, you have to find out what uh, you have to find out then the uh, natural frequency on damp natural frequency the damp natural frequency omega d and zeta damping ratio that we have to find out given this so it's very easy actually so what you have to do is uh, this you can write it as equal to a over b right and then you have s plus d a square plus f a square over b right okay and uh, that will be equal to a over b and then you have s square plus 2d uh, s plus d a square plus f a square divided by b right okay so and this will be equal to s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square and from here we know that from here to here this is omega n square so we get the first one omega n is equal to root under d square plus f square over b will be the the natural frequency right so second is omega d omega d we get uh, omega d we get uh, directly from here so the, you know you know that s plus the zeta omega n plus omega d square so this this also you can write it as uh, s plus zeta omega n square right at plus and this is simply omega d square so this is how uh, we know like while solving it uh, we had to convert into like this one where omega d we know that is root under 1 minus zeta square times omega n omega n will be outside yeah so uh, we we know that already hence omega d will be simply omega d uh, omega d will be simply root under f a square over b or simply f over root b will be omega d okay and then zeta zeta we can find out so from here so here yeah so what uh, what do we get we get uh, uh, 2 zeta or so uh, 2 zeta omega n s is equal to 2d 2d equal to zeta omega n s and uh, okay, this is omega d that you get and this is 2d and hence zeta omega n equal to d and zeta is equal to d over omega n right so d over omega n and omega n we know already right so this is d a square plus f a square over b so this you get zeta okay for next three questions uh, number uh, fourth question number 16 to 19 is about a transfer function ts which is equal to output over input which is equal to a over uh, s plus 
d square over f square so uh, these things are given a d f these values are given as numbers what we have to find is is a uh, 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 four things okay so first thing is the uh, is the rise time tr rise time equal to r second thing is the uh, settling time ts equal to what uh, two percent criterion then we have uh, peak time is equal to what and uh, then we have the maximum overshoot is equal to what yeah okay so we already uh, if you uh, like derived it uh, given this one the output is given by uh, rs multiplied by ts right okay uh, but here the all these things are defined for a step input right it's a step input that means uh, uh, rt is equal to 1 that really means rs is equal to 1 over s and hence cs is equal to rs times ts is equal to 1 over s multiplied by ts okay and uh, that means cs is given by uh, 1 over s multiplied by a s plus d square plus f square okay and uh, this uh, we have solved already in the visual lectures so you can see that that we can write it as 1 a over s plus b over you can write s plus d s square plus f square yeah and then you can find out the values values meaning that the will be equal to a times this plus b times uh, a is divided by all those things and hence you can find out a equal to what b equal to what and then once you have that then you take inverse um, laplace transform so ct will be l inverse cs yeah and then you will get the values uh, and the solution you get is equal to uh, will be one minus in this case so the, this is for the unit for for unit step for the unit step you, you are getting uh, one minus yeah and then after that you will get uh, uh, e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by root one minus zeta square yeah okay and then then you get a sign uh, yeah sine and then you get omega d t plus tan inverse then root 1 minus zeta square over zeta okay so this is for unit step yeah also remember that you will get uh, not like uh, just exactly like this one but you will get something multiplied here okay why because you have a over the so the this is this solution solution is for uh, what transfer function the transfer function is ts equal to omega n square over uh, s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square if you have this transfer function then uh, due to the step input you have this output but in this case uh, it is little bit different right so you have uh, something like uh, you have also multi like a uh, omega n square you have here you may not have or hence accordingly you have to scale accordingly yeah so in any case actually we don't want uh, don't need because what we need is a time and all those things actual value are not needed yeah so we can just simply we can say multiplied by a here uh, not a this one but b, uh, let's say so uh, we can have let, let's call it uh, h a, a, uh, a constant h which we are multiplying here okay so so th this will be how the output will look like okay so now based on this one we can now find out a few things what what can we find out so uh, rise time okay so rise time is where it uh, reaches the so this is the input the output will be output go like this one yeah okay so where t is equal to infinity what happens 
this uh, this value will be zero and what you get is h so in this case this is the h value here right so in the long term the value is it is going to be equal to h only okay so rise time is this one where it uh, reaches uh, value 8 for the first time if you had omega n square over like this one then you have h equal to 1 right so okay so uh, that really means uh, h equal to or 1 equal to this yeah so h equal to uh, we have h uh, 1 minus and let's say um, tr is the rise time so e minus zeta omega n uh, tr divided by root 1 minus zeta square and then sine uh, omega d tr uh, plus tan inverse this root under 1 minus zeta square over zeta like this uh, this is equal to this so uh, finally what you get is simply e sine omega d tr plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta is equal to 0 okay so that really means uh, this value has to be pi because this is first time it is reaching here so from here to is a pi so you get omega d t tr plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta equal to pi yeah and hence from here you get uh, tr tr is equal to pi minus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta square yeah and divided by divided by omega d omega d so this this is what the expression is now only thing is what is omega d so if you look at here you get omega d is this one right so this is omega d is nothing but f so this is equal to f so you get pi minus so from here we can find out that what is zeta what is omega d and that's it that's what uh, we can find out right so from here the this one is equal to uh, some value here plus so it will be s square plus 2 zeta omega n uh, s plus uh, omega n square right that's what that is or or you can also write uh, is equal to uh, some other form as well equal to s plus uh, zeta omega n a square plus omega d a square so you can get from there so we know that omega d a square comes here f a square so omega d is nothing but f right so we can write here uh, instead of omega d we can write f here right so we have f right so we get the value now second thing is zeta so from here you get that so zeta omega n equal to d right so what do we get here uh, zeta omega n equal to d right okay so zeta will be equal to uh, d over omega n yeah okay so, uh, so that, that really means what we have in terms of uh, zeta uh, 1 minus zeta square and uh, this is zeta square so we, we can also have uh, equal to pi minus tan inverse and uh, if you multiply omega n here omega n here and what do you get you, you get omega d square we get omega d square right omega n square uh, uh, not zeta square here sorry okay so what do we get we get omega d um, uh, divided by omega n and j so we can write omega n multiply here omega n here also this whole thing becomes omega d and omega d is o, omega d is f so so omega d is f so that we get equal to f right okay so uh, right okay so o, omega d uh, equal to f uh, divided by we get zeta omega n and zeta omega n is s plus zeta omega n square so d is zeta omega n so this is d right so n divided by f so this is the this is the expression yeah so tr will be simply equal to this it will be tr equal to pi minus tan inverse f over d divided by f yeah and you get the 
the rise time. Next thing is settling time and the two percent criterion. So two in two percent criterion, it simply says that so uh, the settling time T is equal to four times T time constant. In this case, time constant is nothing but whatever comes here. So this is the time constant e to minus. This is equal to one over time constant. So equal to four times so one over zeta omega n, right? And zeta omega n is equal to, we know here, zeta omega n equal to d, and here is equal to 4 over d. So t is equal to settling time 4 over d simply. Next, we have to find out the, the peak time. Yeah, so means uh, what is the time here? This is the peak time. So in order to that, you know that this is the highest point. So you can uh, simply say dc over dt equal to 0. And that means uh, here we get uh, h 0 minus and here uh, we get first this one. So in, in the first one we will get let's see like this one. So minus zeta omega n yeah e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by 1 minus zeta square and then this the whole thing omega d t plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta okay so this is one thing and then uh, and there will be plus uh, e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by root 1 minus zeta square okay uh, and then sine we are going to uh, so omega d we can write so this will come out and then sine becomes cos yeah so so cos omega d omega d t plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta yeah so this is what we got okay so uh, we can simplify further so will be equal to uh, this is all equal to zero yeah so h will be gone and also we will get a common a few things can common uh, which will be gone okay so let's uh, write further so we get uh, okay so um, uh, that will be equal to uh, e to the minus uh, zeta omega nt on both the sides uh, that's gone and uh, then we have this minus minus plus so we get simply the uh, that tells us that zeta omega n so uh, zeta omega n over root 1 minus zeta square sine omega d so next question is uh, finding out the the uh, peak time so peak time is nothing but here right so this is the peak time so the, there it is the maximum right so so what we're going to find out how, how will you find out you will find out by taking the slope and making it equal to zero so okay dc over dt will be zero so we can differentiate this one and what we get we get h then uh, 0 minus from here we get uh, uh, minus zeta omega n right and then e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by 1 minus zeta square yeah okay and then we have sine omega d t plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta yeah and we get plus e to the power minus zeta omega n t divided by root 1 minus zeta square multiplied by uh, differential of this one and uh, what is that that is will be cos omega d yeah cos uh, omega d t plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta yeah 
so this is the whole thing will be equal to 0 at t equal to t p okay that's what it is okay so hence uh, we can get rid of this point this uh, we have e to power minus zeta omega and t here also we have that yeah so we can get rid of those yeah so what uh, then uh, what will you have so uh, we have here the uh, simply we will get my minus plus so we will get zeta omega n divided by root 1 minus zeta square sine omega d t plus then inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta right and uh, here it is plus this will be minus right so minus and then we get uh, in this case we will get omega d omega d root divided by 1 minus zeta square and then cos omega d t so omega d equal to tp so we write tp right here so plus 10 inverse uh, root 1 minus zeta square over zeta yeah okay so this is equal to 0 next thing we we can expand it okay so uh, what you get so uh, after expanding we get zeta omega n over root 1 minus zeta square and uh, sine this plus this so we get sine omega d t p then cos of this so sine plus cos right so cos of this will be simply so so th this is tan inverse of this one so so cos of this will be simply zeta yeah so we get simply zeta here cos of this will be zeta because uh, so uh, the tan here it will be sine right this will be sine this will be cos sine will be 1 minus zeta square root under 1 minus zeta square divided by square of this and square of that so equal to 1 basically so sine of this will be 1 minus zeta square cos will be zeta simply so we have that's why we have zeta here okay so we get zeta sine omega d tp uh, plus uh, cos right so cos omega d tp okay and multiplied by here it, it will have sine so it will be to root under 1 minus zeta square right so we get like this one here we will get uh, omega d over uh, root 1 minus zeta square and the similar thing we can do here to cos cos so we get uh, cos of this will be simply cos omega d tp and right omega d tp uh, then cos of this also the cos of this will be simply zeta multiply by zeta and then minus we will have minus here yeah minus sine sine of this so we have sine omega d tp okay uh, a sine of this also this which will be root under 1 minus zeta square right so this is what it is so this whole thing will be equal to zero yeah so, uh, so i'm deleting uh, our path okay so i'm making room for this one okay so sine omega, omega tp multiplied by root 1 minus zeta square is equal to zero so now you can see the simplification now so uh, the cost term will go away so you can see here see the cost term here cos omega d tp root 1 minus zeta square here also have root 1 minus zeta square so what you have is zeta omega n for the cost term here what do you have you have uh, the omega d right omega d is nothing but omega n multiplied by 1 minus zeta square so you get here this omega n then omega n times zeta right so here uh, plus cos same zeta omega n is the coefficient here also coefficient is the same one so this and this will cancel out okay so this and this will cancel out so what you have is 
just just the cost term. So it's some constant multiplied by cos mega d dp minus minus plus, and here also sine omega d dp. So you have simply the the uh, what you get from is sine omega d dp equal to dp equal to zero, and hence you get omega d dp equal to pi or simply tp equal to pi over omega d as simple as that yeah so tp will uh, the value of tp will be uh, pi over omega d and where omega d what is omega d omega d comes from this one f is omega d right so this is omega d square here so f is the so pi over f is the is the peak uh, time Next is uh, to find out the maximum the maximum overshoot percentage. Okay, so the so MP is given by the what is the H? What is the value at this one? So C at T equal to P, right? That we calculated just now, right? Uh, minus the H value. H is the long term the mean position, and divided by we have the long term mean position H only. Okay, so this uh, multiplied by hundred percent. So this is what the value is, right? So okay, my, now uh, this we can uh, like uh, this we can first find out C T P minus H. Sorry, T P minus H, and uh, that will be equal to. So we know that um, uh, earlier like. Omega d times t p equal to pi, right? So this this we know, right? So anyway, so we put that value uh, c t p minus h. So t p uh, c is this one minus h. So you get just minus this value, right? So we have minus h times e to the power e to the power minus yeah and uh, zeta omega n tp divided by root 1 minus zeta square and then we have sine omega d tp omega d tp is nothing but pi on this right pi plus tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta so that's what that is okay uh, and equal to so sine pi plus this will be simply minus we can just write that if you remove pi we can just replace that with minus and it will be fine right okay so we simply get minus minus plus so we can write it here is equal to equal to so from here we are removing pi so we get minus so it becomes plus h then uh, e to the power minus zeta omega n tp okay yeah uh, and we, you can write one more thing here so we can also write like this equal to uh, h e to the power minus zeta omega n and tp we can put value of tp equal pi over omega d pi over omega d right okay done uh, divided by 1 minus zeta square and then this is nothing but simply uh, sine of tan inverse root 1 minus zeta square over zeta which will be equal to this equal to sine this is cos so simply root we can just have root this will be the whole thing will be nothing but root 1 minus zeta square right will be 1 minus zeta square and uh, which will make it simply that is equal to h times e to the power minus and we have minus pi zeta e to the minus pi zeta and then we have pi zeta omega n over omega d so omega n over omega d is nothing but omega n divided by root 1 minus zeta square omega n equal to 1 over 1 minus zeta square simply so so we have 
pi zeta over 1 minus zeta square. So this is the value and hence from here we get uh, mp will be equal to this divided by this h by 100. So we simply get e to power minus pi zeta 1 minus zeta square. Yeah. Uh, just a minute. It, it should be root. Okay. Root. Okay. Yeah. So e to minus pi zeta over root 1 minus zeta square multiplied by 100. So this is the uh, maximum overshoot that you get. Only thing is now finding out the value of zeta and what is the uh, uh, zeta you have here. So that we have to find. As, how, as this question is concerned, so we can also uh, simplify further and how pi we have and we multiply omega n uh, up and down. So we get omega n here and omega n here, right? So we get e to the power minus pi and zeta omega n. Zeta omega n is d. So we write just d here divided by 1 minus zeta square multiplied by omega n. And this is nothing but, this is nothing but omega d, right? And the omega d is, for us omega d is this, f square, so f into 100. So we get simply the value will be the, this will be equal to e to the power minus pi d over f, yeah, multiplied by 100. So this is the answer you get. So based on if you have the uh, transfer function is this one, the maximum overshoot will be this value. The next question is, is uh, 20 uh, given a s q plus b s square plus k s plus d equal to 0 is the characteristic equation and asking if uh, k is greater than k naught for a stability then uh, k naught equal to what that's what it tells you okay so for that we have to do routes stability uh, we have to check the routes uh, stability criterion so uh, what we are uh, going to do we have s q s square s1 and then s0 we have a then b then we have k and then uh, when we have d yeah so here we will have a b b times k minus a d divided by b and here we will have 0 0 0 right? so here will we have 0 and uh, in this here th this will be uh, simply this multiplied by this minus 0 divided by this one so we get d one day yeah okay now uh, you must have seen that all of them has a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and d equal to 0 so automatically this this taken care of only thing this has to be equal to uh, greater than 0 right so bk minus ad over b has to be greater than 0 and uh, we get k bk minus ad greater than 0 or k should be greater than ad over b yeah so since k greater than k naught for stability and this is also for stability hence we know that k naught equal to ad over b so ad over b will be the answer next question is is about the uh, similar question but different so this is k minus uh, b s minus c s square equal to zero and uh, if it says if k less than k naught is a stable then k naught equal to what that's what it tells here okay so here looking at this one remember that uh, we can also write in terms of uh, like this one you multiply it by minus to all of them so we get uh, c s square plus b s minus k equal to zero yeah straight away you know that all the coefficient has to be 
coefficient has to be positive yeah and hence uh, you can say that minus k has to be positive and that really means k has to be less than zero and hence if k less than k naught hence k naught equal to zero in this case or you can also uh, write here okay so in this case what is given b greater than zero c greater than zero you can straight away we can write so we can write s uh, square uh, Ralph's stability criterion also we can use s square one s naught so s square uh, we have in this case minus minus c so we can write minus c right okay and after here it becomes minus b and uh, here we have k right zero so we, here we multiply by this multiply by this we get k here now for stability what happens is uh, all of them should be of the same sign okay same sign same sign for stability okay so no sign change okay so that means if this is negative this is negative this k also has to be negative so since uh, c is greater than 0 b equal to greater than 0 and this is negative this is negative so k has to be negative also the k has to be less than 0 then it will be stable so the stability criteria in this case uh, actually is uh, there is no sign change as long as there is no, no sign change means stable yeah no sign change equal to stable yeah if there is a sign change then number of sign change equal to number of roots in the right side right uh, right side of the s plane okay so so that means k so in this value will be k naught equal to zero so next question is number 22 and uh, this is about uh, we have to find out so for this uh, characteristic equation s4 plus 2sq plus a plus k multiplied by s square plus 9s plus 25 equal to 0 for stability if k is greater than k naught then k naught equal to what right for stability is like this okay so we, we are going to make the Ralph's array or table so we have s4 here and then uh, we have s cube um, then uh, s s square s1 and s0 okay so s4 is 1 and then s cube uh, here uh, we can have 2 then we have here a plus k value and then after that so uh, a plus k we have and then we have 9 here and after that we have 25 here okay so 25 so 0 here so we are going to multiply this minus this one so we get 2 a plus k right uh, minus 9 right and then we are going to divide that by 2 right so divide by 2 so we are just divide by 2 so we are what we get is this value yeah. okay so we get a plus k we divide by 2 so this value we get here uh, here we get this multiplied by this divided by 9 so we get 25 right here okay so 0 remains here okay so um, uh, here now this multiplied by this minus this divided by this one okay so what we get is 9 minus 50 divided by this value okay so a plus k minus 9 over 2 right so this is we get 9 multiplied by this divided by this one okay uh, and here we get 0 yeah okay here we get uh, this multiplied by this divided by this minus 25 so what we get this is greater than 0 greater than 0 greater than 0 so uh, since this positive this positive this positive so this also has to be positive this also has to be positive so let's see check one by one okay so number one this one a plus k minus 9 over 2 uh, greater than 0 and that tells us that k has to be greater than 9 over 2 minus a. Okay. So this is 
one okay from this one what do we get from this one it says nine okay so th th this one is nine minus minus and then uh, we have 50 divided by a plus k minus 9 over 2 right this is greater than 0 yeah uh, then we can multiply here so that really means a plus k minus 9 over 2 since this is positive right so from here you know that this has to be positive multiplied by 9 okay minus 50 uh, is greater than 0 so we just multiplied by this so this becomes uh, this minus 50 is equal to 0 and uh, simply from here we will get so we get a plus k minus 9 over 2 greater than 50 over 9 right okay uh, and a plus k greater than 50 over 9 plus 9 over 2 right so we get 100 plus 81 divided by 18 and a greater than sorry k from here we get k this tells us k has to be greater than greater than uh, 181 over 18 right minus so what we see here this is uh, around 10 more than 10 and this is a 4.5 so k has to be more than 10 minus a so this is the criteria which is going to which is going to fit yeah so because uh, this criteria is uh, more strict right because k is greater than uh, 181 over 18 minus a greater than 9 over 2 minus a if you satisfy this one automatically satisfies this one so value will be this yeah so your k naught will be k naught equal to 181 over 18 minus a so this is the answer in the next question uh, this was uh, some equation was given and you had to find out so this are matching type so some equation we are given something like let us say number one was s equal to zero and you have to find out whether uh, it is a uh, stable or not so s equal to zero is not a stable not a stable because for stability it has to be on the strictly on the left side of the s plane right so uh, here exactly it is here so it's not a stable it has to be uh, not even on the uh, vertical line the vertical axis it has to be left side of that so it's that's why it's not a step uh, second is or it can uh, unstable yeah. so number two is uh, s plus one equal to zero and uh, then you have s equal to minus one here and since s equal to minus one hence this is a stable number three is uh, s minus two equal to zero a dash tells us s equal to two which is on the right side it is here too so uh, here this is unstable this side is stable yeah so so this tells us that this is unstable number four was s square plus one equal to zero and that tells us s equal to plus minus i so this is here and here it is on the line so this is again unstable okay number five is s square plus s plus one equal to zero and that makes us uh, we can find out the the root so s equal to minus one plus minus root b square one minus four by two here so you get minus 1 plus minus uh, i root 3 so this is minus 1 yeah i root 3 uh, 2 what we see is that the real part is 
a minus 1 over 2, right? So it is minus 1 over 2 plus this i root 3 over 2. So hence this is negative, hence it is stable. Okay, so next is uh, minus s square minus 2s minus 1 equal to 0. So this uh, you can simplify, you can make it s square plus 2s plus 1 equal to 0, right? It has minus m to be a same sign. We make like this one and hence uh, what do we get? We get uh, s plus 1 s square equal to 0 and we get s equal to minus 1 which is a repeat. Yeah, so we have uh, both the roots, repeated roots on the left sides, hence this is stable. Now next is uh, next one is uh, s cube uh, plus s square plus s plus one equal to zero, and uh, that really means it is actually s square plus one multiplied by s plus one, right? That is equal to zero, and hence we get s equal to plus minus i and minus one. So there is a there are two roots uh, which are on the imaginary axis and hence this is unstable. Not all roots are have negative real parts, so unstable. Okay. And the last one in this one is equal to uh, s cube plus 2s square plus 2s plus yeah equal to 0. And uh, this one you can see that we can say uh, s s square plus one right then uh, we have uh, s square plus one where s square plus one uh, what i meant was uh, we can write it like this one s square and then s plus one then uh, we have s square s cube plus s square similarly we can have s here right and uh, we can you know, s and then plus one also so we so far we have s cube plus s square then s square again plus s we still have one s s plus one right so actually what we get is s square plus s plus one multiplied by s plus one is equal to zero and uh, we know this a product of two things so this is already a stable, you know, s square plus s plus one, and s plus one is also a stable. So both of them are a stable only, hence it is a stable. Because the roots you get, one of s, uh, s equal to minus one, and here the roots are minus half plus minus root i root three over two, hence this is stable. Next question is uh, S uh, the the, uh, the tensor function is given uh, G S is equal to uh, one over S S plus one and S plus two and this is unit step function uh, unit uh, uh, feedback loop so this is G S uh, given like this one yeah and uh, you have unit so like this minus plus goes like this one yeah so gs is given like this one and uh, we have to find out whether this is stable or not okay so how to find out so we have to first find out the closed loop transfer function uh, which is ts will be equal to gs divided by 1 plus hs into gs hs is 1 so it becomes gs simply right so that really means uh, if you put that value here that will be 1 over s, s plus 1, s plus 2 divided by 1 plus 1 over s, s plus 1, s plus 2, right? And uh, that will make it uh, 1 over, uh, sorry, this, this is k, yeah? This is k. We have to find out the value of k for which uh, range for which it is stable, yeah? So uh, this is k here, so hence uh, we have k here like this and uh, then uh, we get k and then we get s s plus 1 s plus 2 plus k right and hence the characteristic equation becomes this s s plus 1 s plus 2 plus k equal to 0 yeah and uh, 
that makes it simply uh, s cube right and then 2 and 3 you have 3s square okay and then we get uh, plus 2s plus k equal to 0 yeah okay okay so now uh, we have to the route uh, stability routes methods we are going to use and then we have s cube here then uh, s square s1 s0 s cube we have one and then three here then two and then k here right so what we get three times two is six and uh, minus k divided by three right and here we get a zero right here we will get this multiplied by this divided by uh, minus this divided by this one so right? we get k okay so stability criteria what we get we get two things so first get this one we have six minus k over three greater than zero yeah uh, because these 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 all these and these are positive k is also supposed to be positive only so this uh, this gives us 6 greater than k or right so this uh, uh, k is less than 6 okay and this from this one this k greater than 0 right so we get a uh, range of k is 6 uh, k is less than 6 and greater than 0 so this is the range okay so none of the options where having this so none of this is the answer none of this okay is the answer so the, this was number 24 okay. now the last question is number 25 and it says that if the characteristic equation is s minus 1 times s plus 2 times s minus 3 times s minus 4 equal to 0 okay then this is asking how many times the uh, the first column of the routes table is changing the sign okay so number of number of change in sign is equal to number of solutions not number, uh, number of solutions having a positive real value yeah that's what it tells you okay so number of so in this case since we have like this one we have solution is equal to s equal to 1 minus 2 3 and 4 so number of positive solutions are 3 hence the value will be 3 answer will be 3 answer 3 why number of change in sign will be number of solutions having positive real value and we have 1 2 3 and hence answer is 3 That's it. so that is all uh, we have seen the solutions of all the questions of quiz 2